Okay, welcome back to the Builder's Challenge, number four, last one of the day. As I was just teasing people, we have really good uh, Bosch 18 volt drills as the uh, winning prize here. Anybody who competes gets their gloves, their glasses, and their hat to take home. She's gonna start a hat store, I think, for <laughs> her previous competitions. Um, so, what we have to do at this point, we've got the house basically structurally, the, the walls up, We've actually sheathed it and weatherproofed it with the tape. And now we want to look at putting some sort of siding on the top. If you get a siding that can actually support 24 inches on center and not all sidings do. So you have to check that out beforehand if you're building to this 24 inch standard. Make sure you find one that actually, because some of them are just too flexible and they'll just wave all over the place or get flimsy. So you may need 16 inch centers. Uh, depending on the siding, but so you got to think the whole thing through. It's all about planning from beginning to end so that everything lines up properly. And for those of you who didn't notice before, here we have a single header and you can actually build two by four studs, single headers in the house as long as your joists land right on top of the studs all the way along in terms of your attic trusses. And otherwise you do a top plate, like here we have a double top plate on these ones that then carries the load differently. Now what we want to do is for the siding, we're going to put on some strapping. So the strapping goes directly over the studs. That's what the guys were just setting up, making sure that the nails here with, that hold on the styrofoam actually are on the studs so that we have something to go into. So there's a little catch about this strapping. It's uh, a uh, one by four strapping that we're putting on here. And the catch is, that you've got to go through the strapping and then you've got to go through two inches of styrofoam or whatever it is you put on the wall and you have to have at least an inch and a half of bite into the stud. Otherwise the siding is not going to stay on. It's going to sag, it's going to fall. So you need an inch and a half in there. So we're talking really long deck screws to be able to get in there and make this work. So these ones I think are five something, what are they, six, five inches in terms of going in. So that's what we're going to be driving. So you have drills at each station for doing that. And you're simply going to line up your boards. Now, theoretically, strapping, of course, goes all the way up the wall, but we're being cheap. And so you're just going to put them on just like my model here, just the first beginning part. So it goes up about four feet. I think you have four foot strapping there. And you're going to put it up that first four feet. Now, here's the thing that we have a lot of trouble with in the countryside is not only insects, but rodents, and particularly bats, love to get behind this strapping and get, get in that space that's caused between the strapping and the insulation here, or the, the, the styrofoam. And they just love that space, so we're putting the screen on. And how do you put the screen on? Well, we're going to screw the strapping in a little bit higher up. Don't screw the bottom one in yet. Pull it out just a little, slide the screen up behind it, bring it around and on the front. And then we've got some nails. We don't have a lot of them. I've got them on the front here that are actually vinyl siding nails that you can do to tack on your screen. In fact, on the site, we'd usually do it with a stapler and just staple them in. And that would hold it in <clears throat> because the siding goes on top and holds everything down. So what we are going to do is put on the strapping, put on the screen, and then if we have a little bit of time, you might, I might get you putting on the inside and outside corner trim of the siding. And the reason I want you to do that is that you'll notice there's something particular. If you look in your books at the page, what are we, 20, where it talks about step four, three quarter inch strapping and bug screen. There you are on the screen up there. And so it actually shows how we're laying out all of these boards, inside corner, outside corner, and over studs. And the whole key to that is that we actually want a one by six, not a one by four on the outside corners, same thing in the inside corners, because it's not just strapping for the siding, it's strapping particularly for the corner molds that need to go on there. And so you need a lot of room to be able to get that. And so that's why, in fact, that's the whole reason for this stud and this stud. Those two little studs are there just to hold this strapping in place. 
Okay, we didn't explain that much at the beginning when we told you you got to put that stud in there. But the stud is there to hold that strapping in place so that you can get a good joint on the inside corner. And on the outside corner, you don't need any extra framing because we can just screw right through. It is a thing you got to think twice about where the wood is back here because you've got so much foam. So when you drive this screw, you want to get it into the wood and not just into the foam or miss the stud. And so then you can put on the outside corner and the inside corner in there. And then, of course, the way this works, for those of you that aren't really familiar with vinyl siding, is there's always a starter strip that goes on. And the starter strip actually comes down like this. The nails are up there. And then the first piece of siding, if you look at the edge here, you can see the first piece of siding actually locks under into that starter strip. And then the next piece of siding locks as we go on up. You got that in there? Good focus on that. So now let me just open this just a little bit. So you see the starter strip is here, and we lock down into it like that. And then, of course, the end piece is over here, and it all fits in like that, and it looks nice. You got your edge of the wall. Now we're not going to bother to put that all in, and it gets a little bit complicated to get it on just right and to fit these pieces in. And it's good if they're long links because you can bend them and play with them and get it to work, or you might even have joints in the middle. But since this is not all about siding, it's more about the structural work that we do so we can put on the siding. Okay, so we're not too worried about siding as such. So what the contest is, you're going to put your strapping on, screw it in properly, make sure it's on the proper centers. You're going to work that bug screen in properly and then put on the ins one inside, one outside corner for the uh, vinyl. That's it. Not really a big task. So you should be able to finish it this time. Okay? So at your workstations, you'll find knives that will cut the bug screen. And I've got a few siding nails here, not a big bag. So come pick up just a few. You only need about 10 at each station. So you can pick up a few nails for tacking in the uh, bug screen and tacking on the siding. If we run out of nails, we'll just live with that. But because uh, I, I see I don't have a big bag. So that's all we need to do. So if you want to get up, choose yourself a workstation, and we'll get this organized, ready to go. You want to locate your tools that you need to do this before we get started, but don't get started until we're all ready to go. Now, you guys are sitting right on the ground there. There actually should be a house under this, <laughs> and so we would be up off the ground. <coughs> I would suggest that you build your whole thing about an inch off the floor just so you're able to work with that bug screen. Because as you can see on my house, I've got room to work with a bug screen because there's a foundation under my house. You don't have a foundation. So lift the whole, all your strapping and everything up about an inch off the floor and that'll give you some, a chance to work with that bug screen. Otherwise, you're just going to be locked in down on the floor. So are we missing people over here? Silvio, how are we doing? Who else are we supposed to have? There we go. Uh-oh, the whiz team. <laughs> Got there? Who are you missing, Silvio? And I would just remind those who are missing, if you're anywhere nearby, we got Bosch 18 volt drills to give away to the winners. <laughs> huh? Claudia is gone. I don't Claudia and John. Claudia and John, are you? Is this John? Claudia? No, Claudia is gone. We need a teammate for John. We need a teammate for John. Here you go. Here you go. You did two others. You're getting good at this. Show the prize again. <laughs> Show the prize again. <laughs> we need one more participant. Who's going to help him out? <coughs> <laughs> we got one? Okay. We got a new volunteer. He's got to put his shoes back on. He's getting serious about this. Okay. Um, so, you got your knives? Got your hammers? 
You've got your drills for driving on big screws. You don't need hammers. You, do, eh, well, you will need a hammer, yeah. See a hammer, drills for driving big screws. There's a hammer up on the table here that belongs to somebody. Like I see a knife and a hammer here. Those must be yours. All right, you guys got all your tools? You're all set? You got your screen? Oh, I've got your screen. So I'll give you back the screen. What else did I steal from you? Um, I don't know if you got, you need the book for the layout. You're fine. You can just look up at the deck, up here and see it. Uh, you've got, yeah, look at your strapping. It's all pre cut, four feet long. So you want the one by sixes for the corners and the one by fours for the studs. And you should also have a couple pieces of vinyl. You should have one inside and one outside corner of vinyl. Somewhere along there. One inside, one inside, one outside corner of vinyl. This one is your vinyl here, guys. This is your stock. Okay. So we're only putting the two corners in. All right, you found your uh, strapping. It's all there, huh? Okay. Everybody else all correct down there? You're all lined up? You're all lined up on the end down here? These houses are getting in my way. I can't see anything anymore. Yo, well, well, we're missing the house under the house here. So I, I would just suggest working about an inch off the floor just because we're down too low. We're too cheap to give you foundations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got some, some larger foundation. I got a foundation. There, that was the only, all the budget we had was for my foundation. Okay. Everybody, are you ready? We had a clock up there. It's 20 minutes. And this time, I think you're going to get it done in less than 20 minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Well, over there, I heard drilling pretty fast. Oh, that's cool. That's a good use of those nails. You got enough to wrap up? Yeah. And where you guys are missing styrofoam, just ignore it. Keep run your, th your uh, strapping up anyway. Now, that bottom one you don't want tight yet because you don't have any screen under there yet. So you want to slide that screen up in there. So just sort of hang it a little bit higher and then pull it out to get the screen in. as he pushes the wall over. <laughs> and now when you're working on a real house, this is the moment when you either love or hate the guy that put the foam up. Because he either put those nails in the right place or he didn't, and now you can hit a stud or not hit a stud. Thank you. I like your thinking.
It's not that simple, but I like your thinking. How do you get around the corner? Roll up this side just to see what happens. Roll this up first like that, and then see how you go around. You see, because it's only half an inch or three quarters of an inch, you don't need a fancy fold. Good plan, guys. Good plan. Like this screw. Just pull it back a little. Oh, that's good. It's out. <laughs> it brings the board right with it that way. <laughs> find the stud. Like I said, this is the moment when you either love or hate the guy that put the nails in. <laughs> You're getting nowhere, huh? Here's your stud. Take a look on the other side. Oh, no, no, you're not even in the right place. Your stud's over here. Excuse me. Your stud's here. Yeah, that's the partition wall there. Here's the stud. Now, come look at your screws. That's the one he just put in. This one? Yeah. Just the other side of that other one. Hey, 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 that's good. <laughs> Did you break split board? <laughs> Are you hitting wood there or not? Okay, here's your here's your stud right here. You see where the stud is? Well, actually, if you come over here, you can see the screw. Yeah, you're going to hit it there. Because I can see the screw right next to the stud. That one's got a light in right in the bottom. Well, the light used to always be up near the, the head, yeah. and I like that coming out of the shoe like that. I was wondering if you had a ladder. <laughs> Yeah. 
Need a few nails there? Yeah. That's all we got, so take what you need, not more. You're putting your nails into your, for your screen or? Oh no, for over the top, yeah. Twelve minutes to go. So you're all pretty well laid out there. Now that's moving forward on you. If you can slide it up enough. Don't bother to go around the corner until you manage to slide up here a little bit. Well, you got to slide up both. In fact, you might want to slide up the. Might want to even pop this board off and slide up under that one and then put it back on. You know, if you take this guy, or at least undo one screw and you can turn it out of the way. <laughs> so you can just take it right on out. Keep, keep, keep unscrewing it, and we can slide it right. Go all the way. Okay. And then I can just sneak it up like this. Wouldn't that help? Or over the other way. Here, we can just take it right up over there out of the way, and then you can get around. Yeah. Try that. Try and do that. very much as long as you get it so it's going to stay tight you're, you're caught on something down there. there you go now you're in business if you want to but uh, we've got a little um, the the nails here make a few of these these are the vinyl siding nails, but they'll hold the screen nicely up at the top. Right. And then this will give you this will give you a few for putting on the siding corners too. Ten minutes, you're halfway there. Okay, you laid out your screen first. Now you're putting on your strap and you'll see if it goes faster than the other guys that are sneaking under. Got it? Oh, that's far enough. Enough to hold. <laughs> enough that it can't fall away. Oh, you guys are getting good. This one too is moving along well. Having trouble getting up there, huh? We got some hot shots over here. They're coming close to finishing. Eight minutes left to go. Okay, you got a, one more strapping on the back side to finish around the corner. Uh, oh, you don't have any more stuff? Let's see what we can find for you.
Here this goes on. Now you're going to have enough time to perfect a little bit here. Yeah, don't bother with the siding. It's just the corners I want. That looks cool. Stop there. But I would suggest that you unscrew and straighten this out. You got time. You see, you, that's a bad joint. Okay. When you see, oh no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I say it's a bad joint. You're missing styrofoam there, huh? Ah, uh, okay. So you got a good joint there. Yeah. My error. Okay. We got a little bit of foam. You got a little bit of foam. Let's just stick this in there. Let's just put this piece down here. There you go. That'll help to be. Yeah, and that's going to be perfect that way. And then here's another piece I got for you over in the end. Although you, oh, you don't have enough foam or anything over here to do that well. Okay, you're going to need to cheat here with a piece of foam to get that one in. You're still going to finish first. <laughs> How are you coming? Coming up? Getting there? Six minutes. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Coming along. Guys, here's one for your backside, or the back wall here, okay? Yeah, don't bother with that siding much. Let's get the two edges on. But you need to get your, your screen around the corner there with that strapping on the back corner. Yeah, take this piece and put it on the back corner. Good, that's going in. You guys have one for your back corner, okay. You guys need one for the back corner, excuse me. I think I found them all. <laughs> they were borrowing left and right. <laughs> okay. So this guy. Okay, I won't bother with that anymore. The one thing you should do is clean up your screen on the back corner here. You got a little bit of time? Because I got bats coming in the bottom here. <laughs> Four minutes. You're getting awful close, guys. Looks like you can finish first if you just knock this in. You got any nails left? Yeah, you do. something to the bottom of that bug screen. Okay. It's just I see rabbits coming in. <laughs> you might want to slack this board a little. See if you can get under there. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. You're doing good there. Three minutes.
two minutes. You guys done? We got one of them done. One is done. The first one's done. The fifth one's done. Come on, you're going to make it in time. Get that trim up there. Forget the siding. Forget the siding. Give me a corner over here. You only got one minute. Give me this corner. <laughs> Take your hammer and put that one piece of snow. Forget that. Go over and get the, the piece of screen over here. Okay. Get that screen nailed up on the end. Yeah, one minute. One minute to get in there. Come on, you can make it. You want a hammer? Here's a hammer. Can't find any nails? Let me see if I can find you a nail here someplace. Where'd all the little nails go? <clears throat> Grab any nail you can find. <laughs> uh, I got two nails left here. Oh, you got some there, okay. Okay, these guys, we're, we got some trim going on over here. Okay. Might need some more. Thirty seconds, twenty seconds. Okay, these guys, you're putting on siding. That's more than we need. So you guys are done. We got two of them done. Two of them done in time. Uh, forget that. Put that outside siding. Up. Put that. Forget that siding. Get put that outside corner on. You got twenty seconds. Get that outside corner up there. <laughs> It's gone. Time's up. <laughs> I was looking for the clock. You guys got the last nail in there? Come on, give me one more nail. You got another nail or you're out of nails? No, no, I'll give you a nail. Where's those nails? Give me a siding nail. Just one. Just one. We got one last nail. Let these guys get this in. Here, stick this. Stick this in on the other side. Are you gonna you're trying to pull that up? Here's the nail because you're missing one down here oh no leave it be leave it be leave it be <laughs> we got enough nails you don't go, need to go steal one okay And the judges are in deliberation. Shooting each other. Now, vinyl siding is a tough thing to work with. I'm kind of easy, but kind of tough. 
you're putting those corners in, you realize it was hard to get them square because they, they wanted to go all over the place, huh? And to actually line them up and get them square in there. They flushed the top and the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you needed a piece of styrofoam in there. <laughs> you better be serious, you're on camera, guys. <laughs> you enjoy this, huh? When you can play. You'll notice we never have the judges judge the one that's on the stage. <laughs> yeah. We have a decision, gentlemen? North Caribou. North Caribou, which is what, the last one down here? Yes. North Caribou wins. How are you guys? Where's, where's our two contestants from North Caribou? Come on up here. I'm sure you didn't go away. Come on up here. I think he's working his way up over here. Come on up. You got a prize that's worth climbing the deck for. Okay, guys. Okay, there you go. You're from where? Casa Monica. in North Caribou, huh? Thank you. Congratulations, good job. Thank you. And that's it. We still got a whole bunch of things going on tomorrow. We'll actually see you at the dinner a little bit later tonight. And uh, tomorrow there are more seminars all day long. So uh, get a little bit of sleep, will you? And so you don't fall asleep while we're trying to give you some more presentations. I hope you enjoy the conference. And thank you for your participation. Um, in a few minutes, we will be announcing all the prizes that are all around in here. So you might not want to run away because usually when we announce the prizes, we're sort of looking for people to pick up their prizes. So uh, we'll start that in just a couple of minutes.